What is Amish culture? The history of the Amish in the United States by H.J. Intern, Amish Heritage Foundation. Have you ever wondered, who are the Amish and where did they come from? Before we explore what Amish culture is and what Amish life in the United States is like today, we must first understand where this group originated. The Amish religion is a radically reformed interpretation of Christianity, and it originated out of the Protestant Reformation in Europe in the 1500s. The Protestant Reformation was a religious movement started by Martin Luther. He broke away from the Roman Catholic Church and that split is what is known as the Protestant branch of Christianity today. The Protestant branch in turn split into numerous other groups, one of which is what is known as the Anabaptists today. The Anabaptist umbrella includes a number of groups, one of which are the Amish, who broke away from the Mennonites, also an Anabaptist group, in the late 1600s. Sandra Thomas, 2009 director of the library at Southeastern Oklahoma State University, explains the Anabaptists. Rather than baptizing infants, they held that only adults who chose to join this fellowship could be baptized. They wanted the second baptism, in Latin Anabaptismus, because they felt their infant baptisms had been meaningless Edm Francois Mallet, 2004, in an entry for the Encyclopedia of Diderot and D'Alembert Collaborative Translation Project at the University of Michigan Library, defines Anabaptist as the following. This word is composed of an, once again, and of Greek letters I pi tizo or of va pi Greek letter omega, to baptize, to wash, because the custom of the Anabaptists is to rebaptize those who were baptized in their infancy. Neither explanation is accurate in the context of Anabaptism. The Anabaptists did not believe that infant baptism was valid. It did not count. Therefore, there was no second or rebaptism. Amish groups formed tight-knit communities and developed the Ordnung, a set of rules, i.e., Amish law for maintaining order and directing Amish society, including theology, hierarchy, and customs. They forbade political involvement and conforming to societal norms and expectations. Due to their strict policies and extreme lifestyle, Anabaptist groups started facing violence and persecution in Europe. This prompted them to seek new settlement in other countries and parts of the world. Amish groups began arriving in America during the 1700s, although possibly as early as the end of the 1600s. They first settled in Pennsylvania because of its opportunities for land and lack of religious persecution. They later migrated west into Ohio, Illinois, and Iowa, and, eventually, other parts of the continent as well. In the earlier stages of establishing their lives in America, the Amish faced low life expectancy rates due to disease and high infant mortality, similarly to other groups at the time. With the advancement of medicine, Amish populations began to increase. Today, the Amish have settled in approximately 30 different states and make up around 0.001% of the total population in the United States. Amish culture in the 21st century Now that we've covered the history of Amish origins, we can take a look at Amish living in the 20th and early 21st centuries. One of the most recognized characteristics of the Amish is their unconventional dress code and appearance. The Amish wear home soon clothing in a style reminiscent of the Pilgrims or Puritans. Some Amish allow bright colors, others are restricted to mostly dark colors. There is no universal law when it comes to the colors one is allowed to wear. Most men wear straw or black broad-brimmed hats, depending on the occasion and their particular community's ordnung. After marriage, men are required to grow a beard, but they are not allowed to have a mustache. Women wear long dresses and white caps with strings, covered by a bonnet depending on the occasion. They never cut their hair and don't wear any jewelry and makeup. The Amish should not be confused with